<laughs> See, this is definitely, definitely pretty cool. Definitely pretty easy to kind of cruise through the countryside just taking these guys out. <laughs> going on guys tvf gaming back with another episode of arc survival evolved on the xbox one all right so we started recording the episode yesterday and we just didn't have time to finish it we're actually going to just start over today all we were really doing yesterday is we went around and kind of fixed up the base i'll show you kind of the improvements we made around here uh we went and got not a lot but a decent amount of metal to get going here so we can have a whole bunch of metal and we're going to get into making some guns so we're going to make us a few long neck rifles uh we got all the ingrams and everything learned oh we're in the wrong one there go weapons we got our firearms and we got our long neck rifle so we got plenty to make the long neck rifle we make tons of those but the thing we're gonna have to work on making is the ammo so to make the simple rifle ammo obviously we a lot of need a lot of metal which we're making up right over there and then we need a whole bunch of gunpowder so for gunpowder we need charcoal which we have been saving up quite a bit so we're going to need charcoal mixed with spark powder, which we have quite a bit. So we're going to take some time and move these back and forth uh, from storage over to our mortar and pestles. And let's see how much we really need to make over here. We did make up some narcotic too, so we start working on some of that. All right, let's see. To make gunpowder, we need, so it's just a one and one One spark powder to one charcoal to give us any kind of gunpowder. So uh, let's see how many stacks do we have over here. We got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, times 4, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So about 2,900 gunpowder, give or take, just with what we have going right here. And what did I say the actual ammo takes? Ammo takes 12 gunpowder, so it's pretty expensive. So uh, to make 100, we might be able to make 200 and some change of the actual simple rifle ammo all right and you know what we didn't learn we did not learn the trank so let's let's search for the trank dart real quick all right trank let's see all right there we go now we know the trank dart what is this bottom one i'm not sure what that one is i can't see it hmm well, we can't see it. Usually, it used to be if you highlighted it, it would show it. So I'm not sure what that last one is. We'll have to see once we get a little bit higher level. Looks like we've got to be level 96 for that. All right. Uh, let's go back in there real quick. So I think I showed this during the last episode, but just in case I didn't, some of the really cool things that they've done for the UI here, you can see they really streamlined. It looks so much better. Uh, the one thing that is really cool down when you get to some of the more difficult things where you have to know a lot of things in order to make it, and if you notice, a lot of things we've learned already learned is unlearned once again with the most recent patch. You had to start back over. So you can see down on the bottom left we have 1,638 points available. So it's almost like we didn't learn anything. We don't know any of the saddles right now. So pretty much starting over. But uh, if you come down here to something that you want to learn and you don't have all the stuff you need in order to, to make it, like we've never learned the scuba mask, the scuba tank, or you know the absorbent substrate. We've never learned those things. So if you try to make something like the gas mask and you click it, it's going to say, are you sure you want to learn this? And you'll, it's going to cost a total of 383 for all those other things that you don't know leading up to this. So we don't need that right now. I just kind of wanted to show you what, what it does. It actually learns all the previous stuff, so you have to sit there and search for all the things that you actually have to add to it. So really cool update. Uh, one of the best updates they've done for the UI. So uh, we didn't like the changes at first, but they're making some cool changes. So uh, we got some more metal and charcoal making up here so we're probably going to load those up with a little bit more wood and metal we'll keep doing that uh, off camera here in a few minutes up top we made a couple base changes just a couple fixes nothing huge if we can get over to the top up here we did fix the railing and stuff up here i'm not real happy with the way that the railing looks here i like the steps we kind of made like a little split step thing off of the actual platforms being offset here so it looks like a little step and you can walk it up it just fine all right I don't like the little railing here because it kind of had a double up. Just It doesn't line up quite right. So we may have to redo that to make it look a little bit better. This side lines up decently okay. See, it just kind of has a little bit of an intersection. doesn't look too bad, so I don't mind that. Uh, we did finish. If you look over where the actual uh, pteranodons are, you can see that we actually finished the actual 
railing right in front of the birds, but we had to go down and actually kind of build into our house. So you can start a little mini house down here. We kind of messed that one up just a little bit. Let's just jump down here. Hopefully, it won't take too much damage. All right, so you can see we kind of had to mess up our little mini house here. Uh, still, has, still kind of the same thing. We just kind of had to build a little bit further out. So we may knock down a couple of these walls and kind of change how we got it going, but uh, definitely need to fix how it looks. And I need to get up there and figure out how to get rid of the actual pillars hanging down right there. I need to delete those. They're easy to place because you can just fly up there, but to get it up there and to delete them, it's a little more difficult. So we have to play with that a little bit. Uh, maybe if we just move the birds and delete the actual right above it, delete the um, ceiling tile above it, it'll it'll disappear, I guess. We can do probably do it that way. Uh, we did finally get a couple more beer barrels. We got another one. Hopefully making up here pretty soon. Uh, I think we got what we need in here. All right, pretty sure that's very water. Yep. Okay, so it's full of water. We just need this to be filled up with beer. So I think we got three of those now. Which might be enough to get a calico therm, but we want to make sure we have at least five before we get going on that. So yeah, we got three. Got a few eggs getting built up here. Uh, a little more spoiled meat we'll grab here in a little bit. Alright, so we got that. One other thing we did get done off camera uh, before the episode is we were kind of flying around, just going back and forth and getting metal. And down here, we got us a new Procroptodon. So this was a level 140. Couldn't pass up the opportunity. Uh, we just grabbed him and brought him back to base and tamed it up real quick. So 140, tamed out to a 209. Uh, the first one was named Ruby. And the second one was named Max. So it's kind of a playoff of a little kid show that my kid, one of my kids used to watch a lot called Max and Ruby. So, because uh, the kangaroos, for the Easter event, you can give them a little bunny outfit. And we had planned on getting the bunny outfit and making them uh, look like the bunnies, but we didn't get a chance to do that. So uh, I think that's the only addition. Uh, I think we're going to try and work on this little outside area here. I'm going to go ahead and work on that while I'm getting the metal together. And start working on this little outside area. I want like an extra little base or like storage area for a few dinos right here. But I'm afraid sometimes when you put dinos on top of platforms like this, they actually end up falling through. And the way that we have this built, they would get stuck down there and be kind of a pain to get them out. So I'm thinking what we could build right here is we can square it off a little bit. So like come come straight out this way or just something like that and actually turn this into maybe our greenhouse. So I think we could throw a whole bunch of greenhouse windows here and make a little greenhouse and start getting into some crops. So think about doing that. Uh, that's about the only change I'm really seeing that we need to get into. So we'll kind of see what we think here. So I'm going to play around with that. I'm going to get a whole bunch more wood and metal off camera so we can get into making a whole bunch of uh, guns, get some gunpowder going. That way we can actually start making some weapons. And then uh, we'll probably do a little base improvements and then kind of go around and play around with the weapons. Alright, and then within either this episode or the next episode, I think it's time to finally go into the water. We haven't done any water taming yet. Uh, we haven't even uh, played around in the ocean yet. We've been pretty relegated to this spot and then the spot that we went to over in the winter uh, biome or the snow biome. So that's what we got planned for now. Uh, I do want to do in the, either the next episode or episode after, we're going to go get our wolf army, our dire wolf army, and then bring them back to this area and kind of just wreck shop the whole way and see how many things we can take out. So. A lot of things planned. We're going to keep playing around with that. And we'll kind of just see where this episode takes us. So nothing for sure, for sure planned yet. We'll see what happens. All right, we are back at our cold biome base up here, our little forward operating base up in the snow area. We're, we found another 145 when we were flying back over here, so we decided to go ahead and tame this one up real quick. Plus, it's a female, so we can do a little more breeding. So this will give us three females for breeding, so we should be able to... Uh, increase our little dire wolf army and then we're going to take it out into the uh, area around here and start kind of seeing how well it does with a whole bunch of dire wolves in tow kind of see how much we can take out real quickly so it should be taking this last bite here in a second so plus 72 levels level 145 so it's going to take out pretty high we're pretty excited about that so hopefully here in a second feel free to eat any minute now i'm getting close uh, where's the boot? There we go. There we go. I knew it was going to be somewhat soon. All right. So 217 tamed out. So awesome. Awesome. All right. So we got a 217 dire wolf to add to our dire wolves over here. And we'll get it a name here pretty soon. All right. Move this one over here. Oh, man. Did I leave the door open? <laughs> That's not the best idea. All right. So there we go. So now we're up to eight total dire wolves. So doing pretty good there. Uh, we did name our two brand new ones, the two uh, the babies that grew up here. Uh, we got Hunter and Striker, just kind of some random names. All right. 
All right, let's go close this over here. All right, we're slowly moving back into our base over here. We're making them a whole bunch of wooden railings so we can uh, kind of lock the dire wolves into place so when they start doing the breeding, they don't move around. So I've got a whole bunch of uh, railings building up real quick because we're moving so slow. All right, oh, there's a... Got one of the Bigfoots out here. Let's see. What level is this guy? Oh, level 15. Never mind. All right. So I'm going to go in here. Go ahead and put these railings in, and then we'll start the breeding process with these guys. So this is, we already had a couple on this side. All right. Oh yeah, we got more than enough. All right. So let's go ahead and start those. Enable wandering. And enable wandering. So we're good there. All right. Making a baby there. Enable wandering here. Enable wandering here. Do we do it? Hmm. Did we get the wrong one? No. Male and female. Are they not ready to? Oh, we still got 13 minutes before this one can make. Uh, this is one of the ones we did earlier. So we got still got 13 minutes before they can get started there. So I have to wait a minute there. Uh, this one is ready, so let's go ahead and get started here. Oh no! Stop, stop. Disable wandering. I didn't even put the rails down. There we go. Alright, now. Enable wandering. Enable wandering. There we go. So we have to wait a second on these two right here. So we got about 13 minutes left there before we can start that one. So we'll get these ones rolling. So you can see the. The mating process is pretty quick, so we're already at 50% on that side. Which one's the female? We are 14 over here, so it'll go pretty quick for the actual process there. That'll bring us up once we get those three, we'll be up over double digits in, in wolves. That way, we can only we'll take it like five or six at a time. <laughs> that way, if we have a big disaster and lose everyone, we still have a few left. So we definitely don't want to lose all of them at once. But kind of wait for a minute for that guy. Should be just about done over here. 80% already. So yeah, it goes, goes really quick. So this is a little easier doing it this way instead of doing the whistle to stop constantly. Now with the, with the bigger dinos, it's a little more difficult unless you have an area that you can bring them into to kind of uh, trap them still. Uh, this is probably the easiest method that we found so far. So far, this is definitely the way we prefer. So if not, if we have like an enclosed area that's like really small, sometimes we use that. But um, for these little guys like that, that's perfect. So. I guess we need to check on our guys over here. These guys are insanely hungry, so I gotta make sure that you got plenty of meat on these ones. All right, doing good there. Uh, and actually, look at that. I didn't realize I got tons of spoiled meat on these guys. All right, so we got tons of spoiled meat there. Outstanding. So I was flying back to the base to get spoiled meat, and I had a bunch right there. All right, all right. These guys should be. All right, these ones are gestating already. So let's take off uh, wandering on that one. Wandering on that one. Doesn't look like it's still wandering. Hmm. Right. Make sure it's not wandering anymore. All right, so that one's gestating. Let's get this one out here so it's good to go. That one should be ready here pretty quick. It's already 11% now, so that one's going pretty quick. So I'll just take a few minutes to get all these ready, uh, and then once either the dire wolves are born or they're done gestating, we'll bring it back. There's one. Come on, other little one. Now let's go. Are you getting stuck? There we go. No, stop there. Let's take off wandering. Take off wandering. Let's tell them to stop. Bam. Alright. Let's get them some meat. We should have tons of meat on here. We filled this up in the last episode. Alright. That'll be a good enough start. Oh, look. And they're mating in there, so we're good to go there. Awesome. 
So their their mating period's ready. See how much we can throw in here. A couple stacks. See how much we can throw in here. A couple more stacks. Perfect. So both of them cruising, and these two should be. It's about 22%. So they'll be done fairly quickly, and then we'll have three baby dire wolves in the base. It'll be kind of cool. Yeah, I really don't know why. It's level 194. I, I wish I could. Wish I understood that. So let's see. So these ones should have. Let's look at there. Oh, we got a some kind of random mutation. I don't know what that means, but it says Charlie and Delta random mutation. Oh no no, that's just telling you the actual. Oh okay, that's the, like the family tree. So it's random mutation zero on both sides, both paternal and maternal. So. Still zero mutations here. Go to the bottom of this one. Same thing on that one. So no mutations yet. I don't know if you have to go like pretty far down the family tree before you start getting mutations. I'm not really sure. Now let's check these ones out. Alright, we're almost good there. Alright. So we'll we'll take another break here. Uh I'll keep recording or I shall I mean I'll stop recording here and then once we got the three babies about to grow up, uh we'll bring it back. All right, we're about to have our final dire wolf baby here. We're at 99%. Should be here out in just a second. Uh, and then we'll be ready to go out with our dire wolf armies. We'll have a, <laughs> a few backups. So this one came out looks like 213. If we can get to it here. All right, there we go. Imprinted. Take off wandering. And... Oh, no, I have no meat on me. My bad. Probably have some meat. <laughs> Grab a couple of stacks of meat off of here. Don't die, baby wolf. Alright. So these ones don't die too quick. <laughs> I think the hardest ones we've had is we had a couple of Jerboas that we were messing with over on Scorched Earth a few times, and we lost like five or six of those trying to breed little baby Jerboas because, man, they if you don't feed them like instantly as soon as you imprint on them, they died right away, so we've had a hard time doing those ones. All right, let's get this one up here with its uh, cousins or brother and sister or siblings, whatever you call them up here. All right, a little bit further this way. Come on now. There we go. Got them all lined up. So let's check here. I don't think there's any kind of mutation or anything on this one. Yeah, so no mutations still. So I don't know what it is we got to do for mutations. I don't know if there's like some trick to it or if we just keep uh, breeding and then eventually in the family tree you'll get a whole bunch of uh, different ones. So these ones are already up to juvenile. So they're cruising right along. They're, they've still got quite a bit. This one's at 25% and 27% for their actual uh, maturation process. And this one's all the way back at you know, 2%. So it's going to take quite a while. But it, they get up to juvenile pretty quickly. So the other two are already feeding off the trough. So we don't have to worry about it there. That much meat should take it through all the way up to juvenile. And then once they're feeding off the trough, we don't even care. So, All right, we had, had to skip ahead quite a bit. I went ahead and went back and re-edited a bunch of this and took a bunch out. It took forever to get these guys out the gate and ready to go. So uh, we're going to skip through a few of these fights. We keep having trouble losing uh, one or two dire wolves just getting stuck on things. So uh, it was a lot of like going forward and backtracking. So it's not quite as easy to run around with a little wolf, dire wolf army. Uh, not as easy as we thought it would be. So uh, we get into a couple battles here. Nothing too big. So I'll kind of uh, cut between a couple different ones. You know, come in and out of a, the different little fights that we had. Uh, so if it seems a little jumpy like I'm just getting cut off in the middle of a sentence or anything like that, that that's why. Because I'm just kind of cutting between a few different scenes. So let's go ahead and check it out. Now, just if we, if we get hit by him. There we go. Now they're in business. Alright, there we go. These guys should be able to direct shot pretty good. So okay, so we we had five with us plus the one we got, so six total. So we're doing okay there. What level is this one up here? Alright, let's see. Twenty. Let that one hit us. Alright, let's see what they do. Alright, cool. Alright, here we go. We got some 
pretty large groups we can take out up here. So we got everybody on aggressive, so they should attack fairly quickly. Hopefully there's nothing too high that we're going to regret killing up here, but we should be fine. All right. You can see these, these wolves, they definitely wreck shot pretty quickly. So uh, there we go. Go get them. There you go. That was a 135. That's kind of a bummer, but that's fine. Almost done with those guys. So you can see they they take out pretty much everything pretty fast. The only problem we really have with this is we probably need to turn off. Oh, you're gonna go around eating everything, aren't you? We need to turn off the actual item collection because they start picking up all this pelt, which is great, but they just can't carry that much. So we probably need to turn that off. There we go. how quick they just take these guys out and now that we're not gathering resources they shouldn't get overweight although they might get stuck on things let's see all right let's see what happens here oh. go get it like, that, like nothing <laughs> see, this is definitely definitely pretty cool definitely pretty easy to kind of cruise through the countryside just taking these guys out See, they're still doing damage somewhere. Alright, that guy's out of the way. Let's see if we can get in here and get this Rex. Oh. What are you guys doing? See, they, they seem to get caught up. Oh, see, they're still fighting the guy. So, they're still trying to gather the stuff even though they can't, so... That's kind of a big problem there. Yeah, I, I definitely don't like that. So they get caught up on some things. I don't know if there's an easier way to deal with that. Still trying. All right, guys. We're back to base. Uh, we were able to level everyone up a little bit. We went around and took out some different groups of dire wolves, a few T-Rexes, a few other things. Uh, there wasn't a lot in the area for once. Usually this place is kind of swarming with stuff, but there really wasn't that much to take out. So uh, we'll, we'll try it again here in the next couple of days. I kind of, this is just kind of a test run to see how we do, uh, how, the, how well they follow and all that. So it wasn't too bad. It was a good first test. Uh, we definitely want to take these guys into a couple of the caves, keep getting them leveled up uh, so they can go into the caves and kind of wreck shop there. So. All in all, pretty fun. Uh, we got a couple new dire wolves made up. Let's see, over here in the corner over here. We got these ones almost, almost all the way grown up. So you can see the first two right here, adolescent and the... Actually, that one's adolescent now too, just a little bit smaller. So that one's about 54%, 78%, and 76%. So they'll all be adult pretty quickly here. So that'll add to our dire wolf army, and we'll take them all out at the same time. And kind of see what kind of nightmare that's going to be trying to keep them all together. All right. Fix this camera angle here. All right, that is it for today's episode. We got a few things done, but not quite as productive as we would have liked. Uh, hopefully, in the next episode, we'll get a little more streamlined. Figure out what we're gonna do for sure. If you could, like, comment, subscribe, go check out the rest of the Arc videos, and we'll see you in the next video.